Welcome back to Hacking SEO. My name is Nick. I am CTO here at Direction.com and a 15 year WordPress developer. I answer questions about SEO and WordPress, and we're going to just touch on one of the most common questions I get. And that is, what do you do if you get locked out of your WordPress website? Chances are that if you're here, then you probably are locked out, but have no fear. All hope is not lost. I've never met a WordPress website I couldn't break into, but there are a few tools you're gonna need in order to get the job done. So let's dive in. So seriously, what do you do if your admin password stops working? Maybe your WordPress dashboard isn't even loading. Maybe you need a password reset. Well, forget about it you used an email address maybe that you haven't used in like 20 years or so fortunately there are three ways to avoid a disaster and today we're going to get into those methods to literally hack away back into your own website starting with the easiest solution one is backup recovery. Many hosting providers provide this as an easy way to step back through time to reinstate a copy of your website that was previously working in good order. For most WordPress website owners, this is usually the safest and quickest solution to a hacked or otherwise broken website that fails to load the administrator dashboard. It's important to note that reinstating a backup, it's going to overwrite any changes that you make to the website. So anything between the date of of the backup and now you're going to overwrite it so you have to be extra careful when deciding which instance to reinstate now sadly this doesn't really fix the issue if you've truly forgotten your password or an incorrect email address that you've just really not used for a long time and you're just trying to get a password reset for those sort of instances a backup recovery really isn't going to work out because hey you know you got 30 days worth of backups and in those 30 days you never even logged in in the first place but hey it's not the only solution and there's still hope there's a number two method and that is adding a new administrator using code we got to get under the kitchen sink here a little bit and you should have just basic knowledge of php maybe you know just a little php my admin and my sql too to implement it if this kind of sounds like chinese to you i suggest hiring a developer you trust and by trust i mean a developer that's not going to hijack your website and and kind of just log in and then just take your entire website for its own keeping, right? You'll need to access your theme files through your hosting provider, usually through your file manager or through FTP. You'll navigate to your functions.php file and paste a snippet of code. This is special magic little code snippet here that's basically gonna include or just add a new administrator to your WordPress site. It really works like magic and it's something that I've always depended upon during lockout issues. So what happens is if we look here, you're gonna change your username and password in the fields to whatever you want. And it can be something simple. It's gonna be a temporary login. Just save the file changes and then you're done. Now, in order to activate the the actual snippet you're just gonna have to load the website just once then navigate to your WordPress login screen and log in with the username and password combo you've just created I've left the code snippet in the comments section below so you can go ahead and check it out there but this is really just a great way to kind of just really take care of those issues when you can't log into your website and you're pulling your hair out you have no idea what to do I've used this little trick probably like a hundred times at least for customers and sometimes in the very beginning when I would lock myself out of my own website and it's happened before and it can happen to you too. If that doesn't work out for you, there is also a number three and number three is about resetting your password through the database. Now, this sounds a little scary, right? You know, changes to your WordPress database can do a lot more harm than good if you really don't know what you're up against. So if you've got basic knowledge of MySQL and have access to the database tables, typically through an SQL editor or such as like phpMyAdmin or SQL Pro, this is usually a cakewalk. And here's how it goes. You log into your website's database and then you go to the WP user table you find your user it should be right there with the jumbled numbers and letters right next to it as a password and by clicking edit here you'll be taken to a full editor find the row labeled user underscore pass see this is going to be the field where you're going to enter your new password in. and you look for the field with a jumbled password right double click it enter a password of your choice once done you go ahead and find the drop down field in the same row 
and we're going to use uh, the MD5 hash. For in layman's terms, it's literally just going to kind of encrypt your password into the correct encryption so that WordPress can pick it up and then you can log in. Don't worry about what MD5 is right now. Just click MD5 as your selection and you're done. So the same thing for number two, same thing goes for number three. Navigate to your WordPress login, then log in with your username and your password, and then that's it. This method should definitely be the most difficult of the three, but in the case of an emergency, it's definitely like a saving grace. I've left the steps in the comments section below if you kind of want to try it for yourself. But again, I'm going to make this crystal clear. If you don't know your way around a database, make sure you hire somebody that knows. That's something that you have to be very, very careful about because you could wind up doing a lot more harm than good. What happens when you can't log into your WordPress website? Well, it's a pretty terrible experience. You know, I've had it happen to myself too before. It happens. And our team has a customer lockout. It's on a regular basis, really. So if you're feeling a little iffy about trying any of the above, give us a shout out in the link below. We can help. That said, ever wonder how people get 95% score or higher on GT metrics? A great website build is key, but you might be surprised by the cheat codes that can get your website what I like to call InstaFast. Check out my next video where I use two of my favorite plugins to achieve the seemingly impossible, making your website super, super fast and getting that 95% GT metric score. Stay tuned.